classmate Jessra, before we uh, move on to the next one, uh, DPA muna tayo. Yung, okay. Uh, So yun guys, before we start, um, yan ako lang sa inyo, uh, yung in accordance to RA10173 or the Data Privacy Act of 2012, we would like to ask for permission to record this Zoom meeting for record keeping purposes. You can ask, you can type uh, okay for recording sa comment section para alam namin na goods kayo. Thank you so much, class. Maraming maraming salamat for uh, okay for for it. For Okay, so we are now recording again, classmates. Nakalive tayo sa Facebook and sa YouTube page. Yun, ang dami na nag-join. Nakakatuwa naman. Nakaka-excite naman. Ayan, okay, so. Marami, marami, we will wait for you for ano. Marami, 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 marami ang maglalaban. Oo. Oh, ayun, nasa 20 participants na. Uy, nangunguna si John Michael Baluil at Dines Locapio. Mag-best friend yan. Kagrupo ko yan. Guys, panalo natin para may pera tayo pang kain na. 20 okay, participants. Okay for recording. Nasaan yung code, guys? Or hindi na kailangan yung link na lang. Okay na yan, no? At around 1.35, guys, we will start our uh, icebreaker na quizzes. So um, basic lang naman yung tanongan dito. So parang ano lang, common knowledge about uh, either, uh, about the Adams University. Naku, madali-dali lang. Baka gusto mong mag-join. Ay, partner, wala ako sa amin. Um, <laughs> phone lang gamit ko. <laughs> okay, sige, sige. So, ayan. We are currently at 21 participants. So, guys. And 22 na. Surprise, oh. Magandang labanan to. Marami-rami sila. Paano kaya pag may nagtay, no? Oh. Oo oh, nga. Si, si Press. Ayun, si Prezi na daw bahala. Mukhang bibigyan niya lahat, ha? Wow! Kaabono <laughs> ata, char. Grabe, yung president ng Adamson University Computer Engineering Society. Mali ata yun. It's a scam. So, ayun. 22 participants and counting. Okay. Ayun, uh, nakita excited. ko name ni Sir JB. Sumali rin. <laughs> wow. Papatalo ba mga classmates natin dyan? <laughs> wow. Kailangan din ni Sir uh, ano, extra cash, ah. <laughs> Gusto ko rin sumali. Wala akong pera, eh. Ayun, it's already at 1.35, guys. So, we have 22 participants. So, ayun, we can safely say na we, we can start na. Yes, partner. And sa lahat ng mga participants natin, good luck. Oh, good luck sa inyo, guys. Good luck. Uh, may the best person win. Ayan. 24, 25. Dumadagdag ko. May Ayan, humabol pa. May humahabol. Okay. Okay. Sige lang, mga classmate, para ma mas enjoy. All right. The Gina, more the merrier. Sabi, sabi ni President Gina daw, tayo ay mag start na for our icebreaker number two. Okay. So, ayan. Kami yung ano, uh, magbabanggit ng questions. questions. Parang ano lang, para lahat tayo kasali. Para feel nyo na kasali tayo lahat. <laughs> Pwede kayo mag-answer sa comment section if you want. Ayan, nag-umpisa na. Ayan, for the first question, we have, wow, ayun. Hindi natin sila kita. Oh. Okay. Oh. Nice. <laughs> so, ayun, ang leading, lead 
Uh, ah, yung first natin. question. Ayun. Okay. May nagsagot na ba? Who is the founder of Adamson University? Yun, yun ba yung unang tanong? Ah, uh, yun. Hindi uh, ko alam kung iba-iba sila ng tanong or yun yung tanong para sa lahat. Pero, ayan yung mga uh, classic question lang na makikita niya sa quizzes natin. So, madali lang naman siya. So, patingin... <laughs> Patingin naman ang leaderboard natin dyan, uh, classmate. Ayun, grabe si Ay, Sir JB Sardanya. Sir JB naman, wala ba dyan pa give chance sa <laughs> mga classmate natin? <laughs> Dominating si Sir. Ayun, Ayan. bago na ang una. First. Taken over by uh, Miss Kezaya. Kezaya. Oh, grabe, ang init ng labanan. Grabe. Let's go, guys. Let's go, guys. Grabe. Magandang, magandang labanan, ano? Oo, oh, mukhang may candidate na tayo for, uh, ano, ah, for winning, ah. Habol yung iba, tayo pa yan. <laughs> Andiyan si Harry Roque. <laughs> Ayaw nga pala yung question ko. Uh, question ko nga pala yun. Ayan. Ayun, tayo na ata sila ni ano, classmate Joshua Tadeo with, and Miss Kezaya um, Mamillo. Ayan. Wait natin kasi naman nanalo dito guys para ikaw ang congratulate natin at manalo na uh, tag tumataging ting na cash prize. Parang ano lang to, ah? parang <laughs> parang dami na kamali oh. Na so guys. Kulang ko kung saan sila nagkamali. Yung saan eh, notable alumni. Ayun, leading pa rin si classmate Kazaya. And sa second, si Sir JB. Okay. Ayaw pa, what, ano? 23 out of 28 na siya. So, five questions left. Kaya yan. Mga, mga classmates natin dyan na nag-participate. Okay. Classmate Jezra, i-interviewin daw natin yung mananalo dito. Mamaya. Para naman... Uh... Oh, sige, sige. Oh, sige yan. Bibigyan natin siya ng uh, pagpupugay. <laughs> From uh, classmate Ivan Reliora. Ginalingan ni Sir JB. <laughs> Masyadong ginagalingan nga po ni Sir JB. Yan. Okay, nahuhuli yata si classmate Ix ha. So, ayun. Ayun, so 25 questions out of 28, tatlo na lang. So we still have Miss Kazaya Mimio uh, leading the ano, leaderboard. <laughs> classmate Ix yung pagod na. <laughs> Grabe si classmate yun. Si classmate Ix yung daw pagod na. Oh, masakit daw ulo niya eh. Masakit ulo ni uh, classmate Ix daw. Ah, sa, sa current president ng Adamson University, maraming nagmali. Ayo. Ay, ayun. Tatlo lang atay nakatama. Magaling yung tatlong yan. <laughs> Guys, bawal mag-share sa YouTube, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Di IT. Di wala. Kala niya daw pala, bawal daw. Bawal kami sumali, mga officers. Yun yung explanation niya. Papayag ka, ano, ah, papayag ka ba sa explanation na yun, classmate ni Jerome Garcia? <laughs> Ayun, napaka-stable naman ni classmate Kezaya. Siya pa rin ang nangunguna. Oh, grabe si classmate Kezaya, nag-iinit. Mukhang... Uh... <laughs> Favorite school niya talaga, favorite university niya talaga ang Adamson University. Pinapakita ni classmate uh, Kezaya yung ano, yung love niya sa Adamson. 
Uy, oo nga pala, no? By the way, guys, siya pala yung top one ng CP natin. It's classmate Kizaya, oh. Mami. Yo. Siya yung top, current top one. Grabe. Grabe, San Paul. Grabe si Mama. Okay, ayun. Tapos na po ba na ano? Okay, so our top three is uh, Miss Kezaya Bamiyo, Sir J. Wizardaria, and Dean Estocapio. And as well as Josh Matadeo for the fourth rank and Veronica Baron for the fifth. Grabe, napakahusay naman ng mga classmates na. Gagaling, napaka-competitive naman. Oh, thank you for participating, classmates. So, ayun, kindly message uh, uh, James Castillo Inyaki for your cash prize. So, konting interview lang sa ating uh, uh, winner for this icebreaker. Uh, Miss Kezaya Amamio, okay lang bang ma-interview ka? Uh, ano feeling? Ano feeling? Malasada lang po. <laughs> <laughs> ayun, may pang uh, birthday ano na si... Classmate Kezaya sa Lazada. Happy birthday, Thanks, Lazada. Classmates. <laughs> Thank you rin for participating, Miss Kezaya Mamiyo. So, ayun. Ayun na, partner. Ikaw na. So, mag-uumpisa na ba tayo, partner? Para sa sunod na speaker. Hmm. Okay, so wag na natin patagalin. Uh, Our uh, next speaker... Natin. Okay. Our next speaker is a member of the Computer Engineering Department, faculty, a graduate of Bachelor of Science in Computer Engineering, and most of us know the speaker as Sir JV. Ayun, yung siya yung second placer kanina mga classmates. Yes. <laughs> Our speaker for the Fundamentals of Django is none other than Mr. Jordan Vane Sardalia. Okay, again, guys, uh, we would like to call on stage to present um, uh, the speaker for today, who is none other than the member of the Computer Engineering Department faculty, a graduate of Bachelor of Science in Computer Engineering, and most, as most of you know, he is uh, Sir JV, and the speaker of Fundamentals of the Django, and who is none other than Mr. Jo Jordan Vane Sardalia. So hello po, sir. Welcome po. Can you hear us, Pa? Welcome po, sir. Ano? So, good afternoon po. Hello po, Pabe. Hello po, good afternoon. Uh, can you hear me, Pa? Yes po, sir. Good afternoon po. Uh, for... So... Good afternoon. So, how can I present? Am I... One of the co-audience. President. Ayun, you can share your screen the poster. Okay, can you see the presentation? Yes, please. Okay, so once again, good afternoon. Thank you for the introduction, uh, Sayer and Impad. So for today, my talk is about
So, ayun guys, a uh, little technical difficulties lang. So, let's wait for uh, Sir Jordan Page Saldari, Sir Dalia na uh, maano yung ma-fix yung technical difficulty on his side. Let's just wait for a couple of minutes na. So, ayun guys, habang uh, wala pa si sir, uh, if you have any question regarding the event, you can actually out. In regards with the uh, uh, test 2021, yun. So, o nga pala guys, si reminder ko lang sa mga classmates nyo na hindi nakapag-join sa Zoom meeting natin. Um, live tayo sa FB page ng Adamson University, Adamson Computer Engineering, Adamson University Computer Engineering Society, or yung AcoS page natin. So, uh, pwede nila tayo mapanood doon, and as well as sa uh, YouTube page na uh, MRCSP. Shannon, um, I'm back. Hi. Welcome back, sir. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, were you able to see my presentation earlier before I get disconnected? Yes, po, sir. Okay. So for this one, uh, later on, as I discuss or my topic for today, uh, I'll be also having a little icebreaker. Okay. And then for the first student or individual that can give the correct answer, there will be also a cash prize. Okay. Okay, I'll start. So first off, since we're going to discuss with regards to the Django framework, so we need to define first what is Django. So some of you are already familiar. This one is the logo of Django. So Django or Django. So the first one is spelled with a capital D. The second one is spelled with a small d. So the Django is a free and open source web framework under the Python programming language. So it follows a certain architectural pattern, which is called uh, model template views, or you can call it as MTV, or some also call it as MVT. So you have model views and template. So it's maintained by the Django Software Foundation or the DSF. So this one is an American company or organization okay so what about the mtv architecture so the mtv architecture is composed of the model the view and the template so as opposed to your mvc architecture so we have the model the view and the controller so there is one letter that was changed so you have from c it was changed to t so this one, the template, uh, the reason of this one, uh, the changing of controller into a template is that the goal of the Django framework is to actually ease the development phase of software development. So it helps programmers to fast track the development to do the use of existing functions and modules. So unlike for your MVC, wherein you have the controller, you need to explicitly code the functions that you want to use in comparison with the template here, because the functions are already given by the framework. So you need to import it and just utilize it. Clear? Hello? Are still there? Yes, sir. Okay. So as you can see here, you the similarity of these two, you have the two components such as the model and the view. So for the model, this one is your data. So these are uh, sorry, these are the data from your database. As you can see here, you have the response information and the quest information. 
also with this one, you have the ORM. So you have here the CRUD of the database, and then the return will be, or sorry, the result will be data sets from your database. So this is in relation with your data structures and database, and also your OOP, because the models here are already object oriented. So you need to create the classes for these objects. And then you can translate that one from your class diagram. You can also translate that one into your ERD. And then for your actual functions, again, you have the template or the controller here. And then lastly, the view. This one is what you can see on your screens. Okay, so next question is, why the Django? So first off, it's free. And then you have active community. And then it's also newbie friendly because the community or the users of this framework, you can easily contact them if you have questions or there are errors in your codes. You can actually ask the community to help you on your journey. And the next one, we have the newbie friendly again it's connected to the second one and then for the fourth one it's easy to create small apps so i have already seen some reviews with regards to the django saying that the django is better for bigger applications but with my experience it's easier to actually create small apps using the django because again since this one eases the development phase of software development, you can actually use this one. So especially for those who are not technical persons. So for example, if you are a business owner and your business cannot provide, what you call this one, salary or payment for an IT. So you can actually create your own website for your own small company using the Django. So it's, easy to transit from you know non programming or non programmer into actual programmer because again the django provides modules uh, sorry existing modules that you can actually import and then lastly we have the scalability so for this one since you are going to uh, start with a smaller app or a simple app uh, if you may you can actually upsize this one. You can upgrade and upgrade and upgrade until you, uh, what do you call this one, have multiple features in comparison to the starting or the base version of your application. So for example, if the first intention of your application is just a small community wherein you can update your customers of coupons or discounts, uh, what to call this one, or sale. And then later on, you want to upgrade it to something like Lazada or Shopee, wherein they can actually buy or purchase from the website. And then later on, you can implement something like a review system, wherein customers can review the products, etc. Clear so far, Pa? Yes, Pa. Okay. So next, this is uh, the little icebreaker that I have. So for this one, whoever, again, whoever guessed the answer correctly uh, wins a cash prize. Uh, later, kindly contact me. So for this one, uh, familiar with... Uh, what to call that game? Uh, forgot forgot the name. Uh, familiar with icons. Okay, so this one is guess the icon. So again, kindly turn on your mic or you can chat it. So I'm asking the assistance of the fascists. Kindly check who want, uh, sorry, kindly check who get who gets the correct answer first? Hello, you still there, Fasis? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. So for the first icon, what is this one? 
Okay. Yes po. Uh, you can answer. Who said that one? Okay, so Fasis, who got it first? Daniel Espiritu Santo. Okay. Uh, kindly note the name and then I'll get it later. Spotify. Okay. okay. Uh, who got that one? And then this one. What's this one? Okay, so discuss from Nicole Gala. I think no one knows this one. So this one is supposed to be the first icon, but I think I double click. That's why it went to the second one. So for the first icon, this is discuss. Uh, I think Gala got it correct. And then next we have Instagram. And then we also have Spotify. Afasis, were you able to take note? Yes, bro. Okay. So for the remaining icons, aside from identifying the name, kindly describe what is the nature of the application, what is uh, what it is used for, why is it being used by individuals. Clear? Clear pa? Clear pa. Clear pa. Yes. Okay, so for the next icon, We have this one. YouTube for, for okay. videos. Okay, so that's correct. For video streaming or uploading of videos. Okay, next we have this one. What is this icon for? Wikipedia. Sorry? Washington Post. Okay, kindly take note who was that one. Washington Post is correct. So what is this for? Hello? 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 <laughs> who answered the Washington Post? Ako po, sir. Si Bruan. Okay. What is Washington Post for? What's the application about? Para po siyang newspaper site, parang New York Times po. Okay. So it's a news... Uh, what do you call this one? News source? Or something like Manila Bulletin, Philippine Inquirer? Okay. So kindly take note. So next we have... This one? Who knows this one? Bit this is the next icon. Okay, so Bitbucket is correct. Who answered that one? Me, sir. Uh, last name po. Ah, okay. So I think it's the Liora. What is Bitbucket for? Para siyang ano, uh, GitHub, yung mga source code, sir. Okay, so this is for version control of software development. Next, we have this one. Dropbox. Okay. Fancy, so answer that one. Bruan. Okay. Bruan, what is Dropbox for? Ano po siya, sir? Parang cloud storage. Okay. So that's one is correct. Next, we have this one. I think this one is a little bit hard. This is uncommon for students. What's this one? Familiar? No, walang may alam. Not familiar. Anyone from the participants? Event bright set. Okay, so that one is correct. Who answered that one? Liora. Okay. So that one is correct. What is event bright for? Parang ticketing services. 
Yeah. So that one is used for managing tickets, especially for events. Okay, next we have where oh where. Okay. This one. Gina, G, who answered that one? Borehon. Okay, so kindly take note. So we have Borehon. Okay, no, uh, sorry. Interest. Interest. Who answered that one? Oh, sir. That's, uh, sorry, that, that is Pirita Santa. Okay, so going back before we move on, uh, Borehon, what is Mozilla for? Uh, web browsing po, sir. Okay. How about for Pinterest, Mr. Del Espirito Santo? Sir, for pictures po. Pictures. Picture sharing po, sir. Okay, so I'll get that one. But for Pinterest, it's actually more of posting your, some, uh, not really, what to call this one, different interests. You can post diff, uh, how to make different crafts, etc. Uh, it's like a blog but Lazada style, wherein you can choose or browse different interests as the name itself, uh, from the name itself. Okay, thank you for that one. I think that's the last one. Okay, so first off, we have the Discuss, Instagram, Spotify, YouTube, Washington Post, and then we have Bitbucket, Dropbox, Eventbrite, then we have Mozilla, and then lastly, we have the Pinterest. So all of these websites, was developed using the Django. Okay? So later on, I'll also be displaying some projects that was published or was submitted by your senior students, currently the third years. So if you're going to take uh, web design and development and if it's still under me, uh, you'll be creating your own websites and then you're going to publish it in the internet so that you can actually access it outside your local devices, okay? So next, uh, I think this is the last part. So how to Django? So uh, may I ask the FASIS, were you able to ask the participants to download the files? Yes, please. Okay, so thank you for that. Okay, so for this one, the reason why I asked beforehand, before my talk, to download the file so that we can actually set up or configure your devices. Because uh, one of the fundamental parts of any project is to actually configure your IDE or how are you going to create the actual project. Okay, so this is the last part of my talk. So we have how to Django. So I'll be leaving you with a quote for this one. The journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. So this one is a famous Chinese proverb by Lao Tzu. Okay, so I have five steps here. So for the first one, you have download and install Python. Next, we have select any IDE, select and install the IDE, and then, uh, sorry, I think this one is a typo. Select an IDE and then install it. And then third, we have install the Django because that's the framework that we're going to use. And then for the fourth one, create a design for your app. And then lastly, we have start coding. So for the first one, we have here download install Python. As you can remember on the part where I defined the Django, it's actually under the Python programming language. So the syntax will be the same, definitely, but you'll be having additional modules because this one is a framework, so you can just easily import this one and then use the functions inside the modules. Okay, next we have create the design and then later on we have the start coding. Okay, for the first one, we have download and install Python. So I think you have already downloaded this one. So any problems installing the Python? Anyone who has downloaded but not yet installed? Anyone from the participants?
yellow. Hello. 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 Install the doctor. Hello. Hello. Hello, sir. Hey. So, any participant who has problems installing Python? Okay. So, I think this one is a very uh, straightforward process. So, after you download, you need to install the Python. And then just take note that you need to check or select the add to path option. Clear? Hello, can you still see the screen? Yes, sir. Okay, so for this one, you have here the website wherein you're going to download the Python. And then next, you have step two, which is select an IDE and then install it. So for this one, you can actually use different IDEs. So you have a wide range of options. So for the first one, we have PyCharm. Next, we have Visual Studio Code. And then we have Visual Studio, the classic one. And then lastly, we have the Atom. So for creating the Django projects, you can actually use Notepads or the Notepad Plus Plus or any text editors that you can use. However, the difference will be definitely uh, you will have a challenge debugging and testing your application. Because again, for you to be able to do that, you need to compile it. So text editors cannot compile your codes. Therefore, you cannot really test it if you're just going to use uh, what's called this one, the Notepad or Notepad++ or any text editors. So it's better for you to use IDEs. But you know, if you just need to edit one particular file, and then for example, you are already in the industry and you just need to edit some files but you need to you don't need to test it you can actually use uh, text editors okay so i think some of you have already installed pycharm visual studio code and visual studio on your devices and then lastly i think uh, this one you have also item io you can use this one but i don't use this one because I prefer the other IDEs, but you can definitely use that one. Okay, so here is the image for your PyCharm. This is the image for your Visual Studio Code. So this one is different for, or sorry, different from the Visual Studio, the classic one, because this one is lighter and then definitely the functions or the things that you can do here is limited as compared to this one, which is heavier on the memory. And then there are a lot of included packages that you can use. So both of, uh, sorry, not both, all of these are being used in the industry. So it's better for you to be familiarized on these IDEs. So next we have the install the Django. So to install the Django, input the command below your terminal. And then we have here, alternatively, you can Sorry, you can install the Django using 
the graphical user interface of PyCharm or the chosen IDE. So if you're going to use the terminal or the command prompt, you can use this one, the code. You have python-m space pip space install space Django. We clear on this one. Okay. Next, we have to verify if the Django was installed. You can go to the terminal and then input Python. So you just need to put Python on the command prompt. And then after you input it and then execute it, this will be opened. So you have now the Python prompt. So you have the three greater than. So after the Python prompt opens, kindly input this one, import the Django, and then hit enter. Then after that one, you can print the Django.get version. So this code will display the current version of the Django that is installed on your project folder or on your device. So if the Django is not successfully installed on your device, this one will display an error instead. Clear? Okay, next. We have here create a design for your application. So you can grab a paper and a pen, open an MS Word, you can open a notepad or any diagramming software that you can use. So whatever is your preferred method, take your time defining your system. Who are your target users? What is the web app for? And then we have here, why is it different from existing applications? So you need to define this first before you program. So some individuals actually you know, encourage people to code immediately, but I beg to differ because you actually need a plan before you code. Because if you don't have any design, you know, you're just going to code blindly. Well, some have, uh, sorry, some experience drill on that one we're in. You're just going to code and code and code and you don't know what you're doing. So you can do it also. There's nothing wrong with that, but if you want to learn properly, and since this one is, if you want to apply it for uh, on your career, future careers, uh, might as well learn how to start creating projects from the start, wherein you need to configure your IDEs and then you need to create your design, okay? So after you do this one, you can uh, ready, or sorry, you are now ready to code. Okay, so this is the last part already. So we have start coding. So once you are done creating your design, you can already, uh, what to call this one, open your IDE, the selected IDE that you installed earlier. And then for this one, uh, for my demonstration, I'm just going to use one of the IDEs. This one is the PyCharm. Okay, so after you open, you can do this one, and then it's going to ask you to create a new project. Just key in or type in the project name that you want, and then after that one, hit enter. Okay, so next you can try inputting the command below. So this one, the Django-admin space start project space, the name of your project on your terminal so you can begin coding your Django project. So after you run this one, this one will actually create directories and files automatically. So you're not really going to start from the scratch because again, since you are already using a framework, this will help you uh, fast track your development. So you have already here the structure. So you have the folder. And then you have some files. You have init.py, ascii.py, settings.py, urls.py. You have wsgi.py. And then, uh, sorry, when you run this one, the start project, uh, I think db.sqlite3 will not be included. 
And then lastly, we have manage.py. Okay, and then if the creation of the directories are successful, you can try to run your application already by inputting the command below. So you have Python manage.py space run server. Okay, as you can see here, on the folder that was created, there is a file called manage.py. So you're just going to use that one and uh, to run the server for the, what call this one? For the web app. Okay, next we have here, when you run the command from the previous slide, you can see from the messages that there's a link. So you can actually click that link and then your browser will be open. So depending on your default browser, so some use Google Chrome, some use Mozilla Firefox, so some use uh, Microsoft Edge. So depending on your default browser, that particular browser will be opened and then your web app will be there displayed. So after clicking that one, this will be displayed. So for me, I'm uh, sorry, my default browser is, I think this one is Microsoft Edge. So as you can see here, once you click that one, this will be open. So it will greet you with the installed work successfully. So congratulations. So with that, congratulations. If you follow the steps earlier, you have created your first Django project. Definitely, it's still, you know, bare, but it's already working. So you can already uh, build up your application from here. Question so far? Hello. Hello, you're still there. Hello, Paul. Yes, sir. Okay. That's a name charm. Okay, I'll be moving this one. Okay, can you see the pie charm? Yes, yes. Okay, so I'll be just uh, guiding you how to start your own project. So you have your new project. Uh, can you see the pop-up? No. We can, sir. Can, can. Kita po. Akita. Okay, so here. You can just name this one. So let's say AcoS sample Django. So this will be your project name. So just click this window. Okay, so it's actually creating this one. So it's creating the virtual environment. So for this one, this one is just, you know, a blank project wherein you have the virtual environment folder. So you have the vent or the virtual environment folder. Okay, next we have here. So after you do this one, you can already install the Django. So again, the step was for you to download and install Python, next your IDE, then your Django. So if you have chosen this one, you can install the Django two ways, using the terminal here or using the GUI. So for example, if you want to use the terminal here, you can just click on the terminal. So for example, this is your file location. This is where you want to install your Django. You're just going to type it here. So we have Python 
space m pip install the Django. And then this one will automatically install the Django here on this particular virtual environment. So if you want to use the Django on all of your projects, you can actually install it within your device. But uh, professionally speaking, you just need to install it per project. Because if you are, uh, what do you call this one? If you are already working in the industry, not all will use the same framework. So after this, uh, after this project, you don't need that particular framework anymore. So if it's installed within your device, you need to uninstall it. But for this one, since this one is already a virtual environment, if you install it here, it's uh, it will be just installed here. You cannot use it elsewhere. So you cannot use it on a different project. So if you want to use it on a different project, you need to install it again on that particular project. Clear? Okay, so while waiting, it has already installed. As you can see here, it was successfully installed. Okay, and then just to, uh, sorry, verify if this one is successful, you can just type it here, Python. And then the Python prompt will open. So you can just key in here, import the Django. Sorry, the Django. And then this one is print. Okay, so my current version is 3.1.7. So this one is for the terminal. So you can also uh, install your, what's you call this one? The Django using this one. So go to settings of your IDE. And then on your virtual environment, uh, this one, this one. So click on your project. So you can add project interpreter. So because I've already installed the Django, it's already here. But if you don't want to use the terminal, you can search it here, the Django. So this one, the Django, this one is the vanilla or the classic version. And then there are already a lot of flavors, if you want to call it, or versions. Can you see this one? So there are a lot of Django, but the classic one or the vanilla flavor is this one, the plain Django. Clear? We clear on this one. Okay. And then if you, after selecting, you just need to click install and then OK. So now you have Python. You now have the IDE, and then you have now the framework, which is the Django. So again, the Django is a framework that help you boost or fast track your development. So you don't need to, you know, create from scratch, wherein you need to define the structure, wherein you're going to create the directories, and then you're going to move the files on what part of the structure are you going to put this kind of files where where are you going to put these files so if you're if you want to fast track you can just simply use the django after you install it okay so for this one the syntax is uh -huh, where's this one Hello? Hello? Hello, Pusser. Ayan. Okay. So for this one, you just need to type on your terminal. Can you still see it? Currently, po. Ah, okay. Wait. How's the zoom? Okay, can you see it now? Yes, bro. Okay, so for this one, since you are still on the Python prompt, you need to exit this one. You can press Control Z and then enter. 
so you, you're going back to the terminal. So you can just paste it here. So the syntax here is the Django dash admin space start project. And then after this one, you need to name your project. So for example, I'm just going to put here AcoS sample the Django. Okay, after that one, you can see that there was a new directory. So inside this one, the project folder, uh, sorry, the solution folder, you now have a new project. So this one is the solution folder. So inside the solution folder, you can have different projects. So this one is your project folder. So this was the directory that was automatically generated by this command by the Django admin start project. And then as you can see, the name of the project is Aqua Sample Django. Same with the folder. So if you open this one, there are different directories and files that you can see here. So definitely the values inside of this one are all defaults. But this one is already, again, the bare skeleton or the bare structure. And then this one will already work properly. You get me? So we can consider this one already your first Django project. Okay? Question so far, Paul? Okay, and then for this one, after you create the project, you can already run the project, but this one will yield an error. So you cannot run it because this particular file is inside your project folder. But currently, your directory is on your solution folder. So you need to change directory. So you have CD. And then just key in the name of your project folder. So you have AcoS Sample Django. OK, so after you move that one, just press the up button or the up arrow. And then another one. And then just run this one. So this one will execute certain commands. As you can see here, it performs different tasks. So after this one, it will yield a link. So you can click this link. OK, uh, can you see the screen? Mumbai term console. Uh -huh, OK, wait. So if you click that one, so this one will be open. So as you can see here, the install works successfully. Congratulations. So this one is, uh, what to call this one? Already your first Django project. So from here, you can already build up different features and different views. So for this one, this is just one view but you can create your own HTML files or views for this one. So you can create your layouts from scratch using HTML, or you can also use uh, the CSS. So there's another framework for that one. And then you also have the bootstrap. So you can use that one to guide you create your own HTML files so that it will be you know responsive and modern looking okay so any questions pa nothing share okay and then as you can see here since your debug is on you can see here the processes being done by your website or your web application. So unless you quit the server, this one, so you need to press control break on your keyboard, you can go back to your terminal. Okay. So with that, I think my 
talk is over. So congrats on creating your own Django project. Okay, so questions for... So, ayun, guys. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Sir Jordan V. Sir Daria. And guys, if you have any question, feel free to uh, comment it on the chat box below. So, anything in regards with Django and the lesson that was taught by Sir JV, Sir Daria. So, okay, mahiya, guys. Uh, feel free to uh, comment your questions or... Raise your hands and unmute your mic. Unmute your microphones. Okay, so I think there is no current question. So may I share one of the projects that was submitted, just to give them an idea for this one. Yes, okay, I'm just going to share the screen. Okay. So for this one, this one is actually submitted by the group of the Guzman, the current president of robotics. So as you can see here, this one is built by the Django. Nandito po ba si Carl? Carl, nandito ka ba? Yes, po, sir. So this one is the product of their, or the result of their uh, determination. <laughs> okay, so I think I still have an account here. So as you can see, you can also do this one. Forgot though. Uh huh. Forgot, forgot. Wait. Login ko lang. What did I, what did I? Can't remember though. Sayang, hindi ako makapag-login. Okay. So, uh, that one, after you log in, definitely there are different functions. And then, uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to collect the other links for the other projects, but Definitely, there are some interesting things that you can do on a website or on a web app. So, it depends on how you're going to utilize the concepts that you have learned from your, uh, what's called this one, from your subjects. Okay, so I think uh, no, no one has any questions from the participants. So if there are no more questions, thank you for um, having me. Ah, yes po, question. Sir, uh, there's a question daw po. Um, ano daw po ang succeeding steps after makabit sa Django nung app mismo po? Okay, so after you have actually integrated the Django onto your application, you can already create your own application. So what do you mean by the application? So it depends on the design that you have created. So that's why I included on the steps that you need to create the design first. So depending on your design, that's what you will do next. But basically, you can divide your application onto three components. So you have, again, the model, the view, and the controller. But if you're going to follow the MTV, you can do the model, do the view, and then use the template. So some... Some actually start with the uh, back end, meaning to say you're going to start with the database and then you're going to create you know, what to call this one, the front end, the layout or the user interface. And then later on, you're going to connect the two. So those are the usual steps. Or you can, you know, if there are multiple members on the team, you can do them simultaneously. So one of you will do the database, one of you will do the the user interface and one of you will use the templates to actually provide the connection between the database and the user interface. Uh, 
definitely you can still use uh, the Django for your mobile applications. Because uh, I think I've already discussed this one though uh, on, on the course that we have last time. Mobile application is actually, depending on the nature of the mobile app, it can also fall under uh, web applications, especially if that particular mobile app will be connected on the internet. So you can also classify that one as a web app. However, definitely the layout will be different. And then if you're going to create or develop a program or an application for a mobile, there will be a different IDE for that one. Especially, you have a different OS for your mobile phone. So for mobile phones, you have uh, iOS, and then you also have Android, right? So usually, if you're going to do a mobile app, you need to consider those two uh, OS. So the programming language or the framework that you're going to utilize will be depending on that on your target user. Uh, did I answer the questions? Okay. How about for the others? So, ayun, I think wala na pong ibang questions for Mr. Sardalia. So, thank you very much po for being one of our speakers. So, let us call on Ms. Angelica May Salazar, one of the spearheads of this event, for giving the certificate of appreciation to our resource speaker. This certificate of appreciation is hereby given to Mr. Jordan Bain Sardalia for delivering a well-versed webinar to the Adamson University students in the Adamson Computer Engineering Society's org-related event entitled Python.io, given this 27th day of March 2021 at Zoom. Signed by Angelica Macy Salazar, the Vice President External of AquaS Event Head, Daryl John Omedina, the President of AquaS, also the Event Head, Engineer Hubert Q. Temprosa, the advisor of AquaS, and lastly signed by Engineer Yolanda D. Austria, um, chairperson of the Computer Engineering Department. Thank you, Paul, sir. Thank you, then, for AquaS for having me answer you, Bert. Thank you, Paul. I uh, hope you learned something from me today. Thank you, Paul. Thank you so much, Paul, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, Ayun, guys. Thank you so much for it, sir. So, ayun, ano, uh, partner. Uh, tapos na ba tayo sa, ano, uh, ano take mo doon sa lesson ni, sir? Wait, nakamit ka ata. Sorry, sorry, yung, sorry, partner. Yung... Ayun, so since hindi pa naman ako familiar sa The Django na tin tinakal ni, sir, um, and I expect ko lang, ah, it is an interesting topic kasi nga pwede dun ma-enhance yung ano natin, yung skills natin sa pag, sa programming. So I'm looking forward na matakel yon sa future, I mean sa following years na pati take ko. Ikaw okay. partner. Ah, yes, yun, ah. Ako partner ano lang, uh, one word lang. Uh, yung one word na yun is ano boosted. Yun yung mm. uh, i-describe ko doon kasi uh, as for me hindi pa ako nakakapag-take ng uh, subject ni sir na web design. So, I think uh, this opportunity is uh, very great for me. Kaya, I will use this knowledge para, ano yun, pag nag uh, enroll ako sa subject na yun, uh, medyo may kaalaman na ako konti. So, sa mga hindi pa nakapag-take ng web design dyan, so I think this is a great opportunity for us. So, thank you again so much for Sir Jordan Vane, Sir Dalia, for that wonderful lesson, sir. Thank you, sir. So, ayun, guys, um, uh, wala pa yung um, next speaker natin. So uh, we would like to take a short break and we'll be back at around 3.20 p.m. Kasi uh, 
Uh, mula pa ang ating next speaker. So, um, kindly, you can do anything you want as, uh, right now. You can take a break, uh, go to the bathroom, uh, freshen up, uh, drink your water, or maybe have a little snack. Okay? So, ikaw rin, partner. Ayo, uh, and... Sige, partner. Magpapahinga. Kakain. Para pang mm. ano lang. Uh, short break recharge. muna tayo. Uh, recharge muna tayo, guys. Uh, bago tayo mag-proceed. To the next lesson. So, ayun, you can uh, uh, leave the meeting or go to the uh, breakout room if you want. Um, we, uh, ano tayo? Chill muna. Um, technical tip with like uh, a little bit of music para chilling muna tayo. Ayun, so mga, so mga participants natin dyan, make sure to come back. At 3.20 po ba yun, um, partner? Yes, partner. At 3.20 p.m. Yun yung start ng uh, ano natin, ng next lesson, which is uh, the introduction to the new normal. Maganda rin to, classmate. Uh, talagang aabangan natin to kasi ano to eh, parang... Related um, siya sa ano oh, natin ngayon, no? Oo, oh, sa nangyayari ngayon. So, uh, kaya stay tuned sa inyan, mga classmate. Huwag muna kayong aalis. Tamang pahinga muna. See you later. <laughs> Ay, habang, habang bakante pala kayo, pasend nga kung sino yung mga nanalo. Ay, okay po sir. No, And then ano, kindly collect na lang din their Gcash. Ayun, sana all. Ang laki ng ngiti, oh. <laughs> sana all may, <laughs> sana sana all may price. Sir, meron po yung iba dumoble-doble yung panalo nila, sir. Uh, pa, ano, 